Hey y'all, T Ham 141 here. I'm gonna be using my friend's beautiful garage to do the 50 hour maintenance on my Branson 2515H. You can't open the bonnet till you put this forward and you do that by pulling this lever here and pulling that forward. Ta-da! And then to open the bonnet, right here there is a little latch. Here's that little latch. I'm gonna wanna spray that with something too. Now I am not taking off my loader. I could, but I'm not going to. Why? Because I'm special in the head probably. All right, y'all in the Branson 15 series manual. My manual stayed outside overnight on the four-wheeler and got wet. And I am in section six, which is maintenance. And right here tells me everything I have to do at the 50 hour mark. We are going to replace the engine oil, the oil filter, the transmission fluid, transmission fluid filter, the front axle fluid. We are going to clean the air cleaner element in the fan and radiator we're going to clean. We are going to check the fuel pipe and connection. We are going to check the steering wheel hose. We are going to check the electric cables. We are going to check the greasing, which I, I grease every 10 hours. Bolts and nuts we're going to check. Coolant fan belt we're going to adjust if needed. Engine breed pipe we're going to check. Generator motor we're going to check. Hydraulic system we are going to check. And then on the next page, which is 6.4, it tells us the capacity, the specifications, in the remark. So I am going to start with the one I'm most familiar with, which is the engine oil. We flip the page here and we see that there is 1.13 gallons or 4.3 liters of 1540. Okay, here on the Branson, you have the oil fill for the engine oil. And then down here, you have the oil check. And you don't want to drop that on the ground. And you want it, there are two notches on the stick. Can you see those? And you want it between them. Okay, and you see we are, in fact, between those. Actually on the high side, which is fine. Can you believe that I forgot my camera and tripod? Hmm, go figure. It is nice having a concrete floor. Thank you. Do my friend. You got the front axle. You come back and here is the engine oil drain. Okay, the size is 17 millimeter. I'm gonna say you've got to be kidding me because I can't get a socket on. Now I did let this run for a few minutes. Yes. Okay. I'm using a three-inch drive because the half-inch drive would not fit. This is the first time I've ever pulled this out. I don't like this bar being across here because that is going to cause me problems. Now let's get this out of here. And there's some dirty engine oil. Now what I can do is take off the oil filler, which will allow that to continue to come out. All right, get that slipped on there. See how that draining even more. All 
right, now I'm gonna start this by hand. Again, 17 millimeter. That is good and firm on there. Clean that off. Clean this off. This is the oil filter I got from the dealer. It's already got the seal on it. Okay, this is the oil I've got. Shell Rotella 15W40 SAE. And this is going, uh, I got it from Tractor Supply. Now what I am going to do is I am going to put some in this, not a whole lot, about halfway up. I wanna, I wanna make sure that I get oil around this seal. I'm taking my finger, oiling around that seal. Now I got that heated up. I'm gonna set that on and just start screwing. oil is changed on the front axle this is where you check it and this is where you drain it this is an inch and a sixteenth okay now check this out this is the fill hole here there's no stick so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to use this one from the other side Original position. It's actually a little low. That's okay because we're going to go ahead and refill it anyway. Or we're going to drain it and then refill it. With this 90 weight oil. It looks brand spanking new. Boy, it's not draining very fast at all. So while I'm waiting for that strain, I'm gonna go ahead and blow out my air filters. Do these two snaps. Blow that off. Try to way that can go. And it don't look horrible, but it doesn't look great. Okay, I'm putting this on the same way it was. Make sure that fits in there. Still draining. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. Because any metal filings or anything like that would be out of there.
And now on the right side, lather, rinse, repeat. This is coming out a lot quicker though. I, I am not sure that's 90 weight oil. Why would one come out one way and another the other? Uh, and the other faster? I don't know. Answer in the comments if you know. This is what I'm using. Meets all the requirements in the book. Now I'm gonna pour that into there. Okay, now the book says this takes 1.7 gallon. So it's gonna take a little more than three quarters of a gallon per side. Boy, this stuff is thick. Okay, let's see where we're at on this. Remember it said to take it to its original position. And voila, three quarters of a gallon, or yeah, three quarters of a gallon got us into the perfect range. Now it's just lather, rinse, repeat. Okay, this side here, was done draining, I put the thing in and tightened it, the, I put the plug in and tightened it up. For my convenience, I'm gonna open the new 90 weight so that I can gauge about three quarters again. This was from the left side, this was from the right side. I will check them periodically now just to make sure that they are actually still good to go. Okay guys, I have a little dilemma here with my transmission fluid fluid this is a 2515h so i'm assuming everything runs in together in the picture it shows that yellow knob right there drains the rear axle but then it shows that this is where you drain the transmission from. I'm assuming because it's hydrostatic that it all runs together. At this moment, I'm not gonna take the risk. Uh, I just don't wanna take a risk and end up not doing something right, you know? That would stink. Okay, let me be completely honest here. When I called the dealer, they said at the 50 hour, they do not change the hydraulic fluid. I understand the reasoning to change the hydraulic fluid is because a brand new tractor could have moving parts and shavings and stuff like that. The filter is gonna catch all that stuff. My hydraulic fluid is clean as clean can be. I had a hard time reading it on the stick. So, at this time, I am just going to show you how to change it, and I'm gonna pray about it. To be perfectly honest, I'm going to pray about it for a little bit and see, you know, what God lays on my heart to do. Um, chances are I'm going to err on the side of caution. This is $30,000, man. I'm going to err on the side of caution and change it. But it's one of those things where it's easy enough to change that I can do it anywhere. Okay, you see that yellow ball right there, that yellow nut? That is the drain. Here is a stick where you check the oil level, the hydraulic fluid level, and here is the plug where you would fill it. So guys, go ahead and put in the comments what you would do. Uh, I really wanna know, cause I mean, for the hydraulic fluid, 50 hours is nothing. But if, if I do, I'm gonna change it, it'll be in the next few days here and I want to know what you think. Should I change the the oil? The filters are a no-brainer because if there is shavings or anything messed up in there, that the filter will catch them, and I don't want it busting through the filter and going back into the system. You've got a small filter here, and then back here, that's a that's a filter right there. The big filter goes there and you just drain it and replace the filters and continue on. All right, we have changed the oil and oil filter. The transmission fluid and fluid filter, I am going to change in the next video. Front axle fluid we took care of. We have cleaned the fuel oil filter and element. We've checked it. Uh, we've cleaned the air filter and element. The fuel pipe and connection are all good. The steering wheel hose is good. 
and the radiator hose is good. We have checked all the electrical cables and the greasing. Uh, we have tightened all the bolts and nuts and checked them. We have adjusted the fan belt. It didn't need adjusting. Uh, the engine breed pipe, I'm not sure what that is. I have to check that. The generator motor and the hydraulic system are all wonderful. So that is going to do us for this 50 hour check. And guys, just keep watching for that video to come out of the, of the hydraulic oil change. And guys, we'll see you next time. Y'all have a great day and God bless.